Hello! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you have never been here before. Another nail video. But this one's a little different than my other ones because this nail video is dedicated to designs. It's gonna be fall soon. I try to look at all the positives of fall and winter because I get very sad during that time because it's gloomy and you know, it's not my favorite. I like it to be sunny and happy, you know? So I try to look at the positives of fall and winter time. So one of my favorite things in fall is all the little things like the decorations, fall fashion, fall nails, fall makeup. Scrolling through Pinterest and I was seeing all of these fall-ish nail designs so I made a Pinterest board and I was like why don't I do a video on fall nail designs if you've been needing some nail inspo recently I got you without further ado we're gonna get into the video so this first set that I'm gonna show you guys how to do are these very earthy toned fall colored French tip nails I love these because these are so easy so let's get started so of course you're gonna first go in with a base coat And then I cure that in my UV light for about 30 seconds. Also just want to say I go in with all gel nail polishes and I cure them in a UV light. I just find that they stay way better. They don't chip. So this is a silicone sponge. I actually saw this hack on TikTok and what you do is you paint the nail polish on there and you dip your nail in at an angle and you can do small French tips, you can do medium French tips, and then I am going for a little bit of a bigger French tip because that's just like the style that I like. And then I cure that for 30 seconds in my UV light. And then I'm going to be going in with all of the different colors. So I'm going to be showing all of the gel colors that I'm going in with, but I will say I did mix a lot of my colors. Like on my pointer finger, I mixed white and the dark brown that I used on my thumb. A lot of the times I will buy my main color nail polishes and then I'll buy a bigger white nail polish so I can mix with the other ones and make a bunch of colors because I find it's like way cheaper to do. So I'm just going in, doing all of the French chips on all of my nails. Cure those for about 30 seconds. So now I'm going to be going in with my gelish top coat. And then I do a final cure of 60 seconds. Now I'm going to be taking rubbing alcohol and then I'm going to be putting that on a little paper towel and rubbing that on all of my nails to get rid of that sticky base from the gel top coat. And then to finalize the look, I'm going to be going in with some cuticle oil just to moisturize your cuticles. Then that is pretty much it for those nails. I love how these turned out. I love the color pattern, super easy. You could do this with literally any color pattern too. Super, super pretty for fall. Okay, so now these very trendy, like swirly line nails, but I did them with fall colors. And of course, first you're gonna be going in with a base coat and curing that for 30 seconds. I'm going to be taking a very thin nail art brush and I'm going in with the dark brown that I have and doing a swirly line and I'm curing that and I'm going to be going on this with two coats to make sure it's very opaque. This is the dark brown on all of the nails. I'm going to be doing the same exact thing but with white nail polish. And then the same exact thing again with a tannish color and this one I'm going to be going over some of the other lines to give it a little bit of dimension and I feel like it just makes it look way better. 
I have never really seen anybody else do this and I don't know if anyone else has this problem but I hate the feeling of when I can feel the designs on my nails so what I do is I go in with a very light buffer and I will super duper lightly buff the nail designs if they're raised and then I will go in with a top coat after that and then my nails are still super smooth underneath but you don't want to buff them too hard because then it'll take the actual nail design off and then I cure that for 60 seconds at the very end. I wipe them down with rubbing alcohol to get the sticky coat off. I'm going in with cuticle oil and I'm showing all the cuticle oils I use in this video just so people have like a bunch of options. This is actually one of my favorite cuticle oils that I actually feel like helps my nails stay a little bit stronger. That is it for this one. This one is super easy. I feel like this one is super duper trendy too. I freaking love this one. So these are green matte French tips and I incorporated these because I feel like matte nail polish is very popular in the fall and these are very like muted earthy tones that I feel like would work really well. So I'm going to show you how to do those. So I'm showing you how to do it again with the silicone sponge and I'm going in with the darker green and then I'm also showing you how I do it without the sponge if people don't have the sponge but they have nail art brushes and I kind of outline the French tip with a nail brush and then I go in with the actual nail polish and then I just paint that on the tip of the nail. And then I cure that and then I will go in with a second coat just to make sure it's very opaque. And then I went and did it on all my other nails. I didn't include every single nail. Okay, this part was literally so hard to film, but what I'm doing is I'm taking the lighter green and I'm pretty much outlining where the French tip is. I love the look of this because I feel like it gave a little bit more to the nail design than just a plain French tip. But they were a little raised, so I went in with my buffer again and just buffed them a little bit so they were super even and not like lumpy or anything. Now I'm going in with a matte top coat and then I'm painting that on all my nails. Then I'm curing that for 60 seconds. And that is it all matte. So now I'm gonna be taking just a normal top coat and I'm gonna be taking a thin nail brush and I'm going to only be putting this on the light green line that we did. And then I'm going to cure that and wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. And then I go in with some cuticle oil. And that is this look. This is probably my least favorite of all of them, but I'm just not a big fan of matte nail polishes. But I included this one for people who really like matte nail polishes. These also really remind me of avocados. They are very cute and I love green so these are probably going to be the most difficult nails in the video these took me the longest to do if you have the patience and you're kind of experienced in nail art please do these because they were so freaking beautiful so first things first you're going to be going in with your base coat curing those so taking my thin nail art brush I'm going to be going in with the white nail polish first and I'm just creating a bunch of swirls along my nails and this is really like whatever you want to do I was looking at a picture from Pinterest because it helps me do it better by looking at a picture but you could do whatever swirls you want And then this is time-lapsed and it's completely out of frame because it was so hard to get it in frame because I had to be so close to my nails. But what I'm doing is I'm going over everything I just did again with a second coat, especially white nail polish. It is not opaque at all. And then I went and cured that for 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna be going in with black nail polish and, and I go over the other swirls a lot of the times to give the nails more dimension. But I'm pretty much just doing the same thing. I'm just creating swirls, but you can kind of see just what I'm doing I outline them and then I take a little like glob and then I fill them in but you just have to be very very precise And right here, I kind of made it too thick, so I just take a flatter nail brush and I go along the side and I just kind of take it away with some acetone on my brush. And that's just how I clean up my nail designs if I mess up.
I went on top of some of the black nail polish with a little bit more white just to make them very overlapped because I, I feel like it just made them look so much better. This is it with the nail designs on them. I feel like they turned out so freaking pretty. So I top it off with a <laughs> top coat and what I'm doing right here on the very tip of the nail is I'm capping the nail so it doesn't peel off. Then of course you cure that and then wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the sticky coat. And these are the final nails. These are probably some of my favorites. These turned out way better than I expected. And then on my other hand, I did not film this, but I did the same exact thing with red and white. But yeah, so that is it for all the nail designs. Yeah. These were the last nails I did. Right when I was putting the top coat on these, I looked at them and I'm like, these look like candy canes. And you know, I didn't put that together until after. I still think they look really cute. I definitely like the black ones more. These are probably one of my favorites. If you guys like the design videos, I'll definitely be doing these more in the future. I was gonna do one dedicated to like 2021 nail designs because I know 2021 has definitely been different for nails. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that, especially with like these swirls. Like these are very trendy and like new. If you guys wanna see a video on how to do like 2021 nail designs, let me know. Everything I used in this video is linked down in the description. I'll try and put all the nail polish colors that I use down in the description as well. I started posting some nail videos on my TikTok and my TikTok is Kaylee.Boyle. I just post like a bunch of nail inspiration on there and for the people who don't have an attention span to watch a whole entire YouTube video on nail designs, I do super duper quick ones on TikTok. I also post like all of my nails on my Instagram if you like want pictures of them to show the nail text and stuff if you go and get your nails done. And my Instagram is just Kaylee.Boyle. If this is the first time you're ever seeing me i do way way more content than just nail videos i just love doing nail videos and you guys love my nail videos so i'm just gonna keep doing them i do hair content i do like beauty content like makeup videos i do like in my life videos i pretty much film my whole entire life so if you like to see that you can subscribe and press the little notification thing it's itchy Happy almost fall, everyone. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. But my breath is scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Hey, always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gonna throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gonna get my. Ow, freaking ball.